All right, I'm gonna weigh my pack. It's 23 pounds. That's a lot, right? Yeah. I started the AT, it was 25. Yeah. I got a lot of food and water in there. Yeah. Walking to the Vermont, New Hampshire border right now. The bridge is right back there. Oh, let's get this started. New Hampshire border about to start my New Hampshire section of the Appalachian Trail. I'll be out there for 10 days hiking 143 miles and I'm so excited about this. Vermont, New Hampshire. First I have to hike through the town of Hanover, New Hampshire which is where Dartmouth College is. <laughs> it was my mom, she drove me to the start today. So fun fact, this is actually my sixth time doing the Hanover section of the Appalachian Trail. So my mom dropped me off on the bridge where the Vermont, New Hampshire border is. And then I walked the 1.2 miles through town and then met up with her again at the Hanover co-op. Um, I ran in there, got a pair of sunglasses because I forgot some and I got to use the bathroom. Now mom's here again because she wants to go and hike a little bit of the AT. Um, what made you want to do that? I just, I fell in love with it. I need to do some of it. Maybe yeah. I'll section hike it one day. It was just her birthday and I got her an Osprey fanny pack with a water bottle holder and she's wearing hiking boots that I got her a couple years ago. So she's all decked out. She's ready for a little hike. Mom found a hiking stick at the trailhead. <laughs> so cute. We hiked a little, now it's time for mom to turn around and go back to the car. Thanks for driving me here. Oh, have fun. I'll see you in 10 days. Eight days. Eight days. See you in eight days. Bye. Love you. So it's about 9.30 right now. I've already gone two miles. And the plan today is to hike another 22 miles and stay at the tents, the Smarts Mountain Tenting, I think. I've never been there before. But yeah, it's so weird just being out here again. It's not a day hike. It's not an overnight. It's like a whole week been a while. It's been like a year and a half since I've done something like this since the Appalachian Trail. But yeah, wow. Surreal. I'm starting this section hike on September 15th. It's the time of year in New Hampshire where it's probably going to be pretty warm every day and pretty cold every night. Um, so far the leaves are pretty green, but I'm sure there'll be pops of color throughout the week and I'll show you the foliage. My first hiking snack of the week, Fruit Gushers. I'm kind of bummed because when I was packing for this trip, I realized I only had one of my Injun-G liner socks. And so I only have a liner sock on my left foot right now. And on my right heel, I can feel like a hot spot coming. So kind of bummed. Next time I stop, maybe I'll put some of the Luco tape over my heel to prevent that. But, oh. That's like one of my favorite pieces of gear and I'm so mad I couldn't find it. Something I didn't really think about going into this was if there was good water on the trails. Um, so far I've passed a couple water sources and they've been pretty dry. And then I went and checked the Far Out app and the ones coming up are like questionable, just like little puddles of water here and there. So now I'm a little nervous about water. The next like huge water source is in 11 miles, but we'll see. I started the day with one and a half liters and I've probably drank a little less than half of that already. So yeah, there's a struggle of the day. This is the most water in the nine miles I've done so far. All right, maybe I'll filter a little bit 
and just kind of save it as backup and drink the water I already have first because it's fresh bottled smart water and it's probably a lot better but I'll just grab a little bit just to have. I have like a 0.6 liter um, bladder attached to my water filter so I'll just fill that up and stick it in the back. It's 57 degrees right now which is great weather when you're hiking but as soon as you stop for a little bit it gets chilly but now I'm warming up because I have 1.7 miles to Moose Mountain which is my first mountain of New Hampshire and it's a pretty clear day pretty sunny so you should get a little bit of a view up there finally 0.1 mile away from the summit <sighs> this has been tough It was like an hour and a half. Oh, nice. I love these signs. The spruce moose. I did chat with my first through hiker. There's a girl on top of Moose Mountain and she's a Novo and may end up camping at the same spot tonight. So it was so fun meeting someone. And speaking of camping tonight, the place I want to go has a fire tower so it's by Smarts Mountain and I really hope to get there by sunset or before so I could see the sun go down and since it's a nice clear sky that should be really beautiful but 12 miles away and it's two o'clock right now so I gotta go fast. South Peak had a view but this is Moose Mountain North Peak Fun! This might be a view of Smarts Mountain, which I'm planning on camping on. Yeah, you can see the fire tower. So that's where I'm headed. Still a long ways away. But I finished all the snacks that I keep in my hip belt, so I have to replace those because I'm starting to get hungry and I want to snack while I hike. This is one of the most exciting parts about backpacking. Like, I can just eat a whole bag of candy and I don't really care. This is a good hiking snack. And with heavier things like packets of applesauce, I try to eat them soon because I tend to like to get the heavier foods out of my pack early on so I don't have to carry it for the next three days. I remember the first time I went hiking here, I turned around because that sign scared me. Here's a little ledge. And I just sat down for a second. Still have like seven more miles and it's like four o'clock or something. And I am tired. I think I really underestimated how tough it would be trying to do a 24 on my first day. Um, but I have to stop and tape up that blister that I was talking about earlier because I never did that and I just don't want it to get worse. Oof. Yeah, you can see that already ripped and then that's a bubble. That sucks. That's still Smarts Mountain pretty far away. But I was just looking at this house. How cool is that? Just in the middle of all of this. So secluded. All right, 5.8 miles until the shelter. Finally, the best water source, or like basically the only flowing water I've seen in 19 miles. Gonna filter and chug. I remember falling in this river on my through hike last year and it was like an actual river so it just shows that i guess it is kind of a drought right now i actually just fell in a river crossing a little ways back i filtered a liter and a half of water i don't think that the water source is going to be that good where i'm planning on camping tonight also the sun's about to go down i still have a few miles left 
so I feel like I have to night hike and the place I want to camp tonight only fits like two tents so I'm a little nervous. Yeah the Appalachian Trail is not easy. I went to say something but then I just came across this. I don't remember that. Katahdin is 412 miles from here. Anyways I was going to say this is a tough day. I'm coming up on 20 miles and my feet hurt, my blisters hurt, my ankles feel weak. Um, I'm really not excited about hiking in the dark. And I just don't want to come across um, me just hopping on the AT without much training and just being out a 24 mile day in New Hampshire and saying that it's like normal for me, but I'm putting my body through a lot and I hope I feel okay tomorrow. So I think I'm going to end the day a little early at 20.8 miles. There's this stealth spot on the side of the trail, which is actually really nice. And the sun's about to go down and I'm just like, my feet feel torn up. Um, I did put on tape and it helped for a little bit, but I don't know if the tape is coming off or I'm getting new blisters, but I really want to check them out. Um, I haven't camped by myself in a while, but... I'm not too nervous about it. I'll just get everything set up, cook dinner, and then hang out in my tent. I am hungry. So I got the tent set up. I got some water boiling so I can make some lasagna. Um, now I can go up my sleeping pad and put my quilt in the tent and just have like a peaceful night and i did look up before i set up my tent to see if there was any dead branches and it's not the best but i don't think it's anything to worry about um the sun went down i'm like halfway maybe not even halfway up smarts mountain so starting to hike tomorrow i'm gonna have to go uphill Whoop, the fire's gonna go out. No. Hey, what happened? What happened? Don't tell me this is empty. <gasps>